Age Squad. Welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool mismatch right here, and basically what this is, is a bite it or bit it. So if you guys see my previous video, I actually reviewed another one from this brand before, but for this one, it's slightly different. But if you see right here, they do probably got some specs and features on here, and they also show you guys what the difference is on here as well. So the way how you guys turn the water pressure is the same, but what's different about this one is the fact that not only does it give you guys a rear option and a nozzle guard cleaning option, it also gives you guys a feminine option as well. So if you guys turn to the back, they do explain to you guys what is for right here. But if you see in terms of the packaging and everything, it looks the same thing. So I'm actually open this up to show you guys what the inside looks like first. All right, so once you guys open up, here is basically what the product looks like inside. So they do probably got similar stuff that's inside, but let's take it all out first. So right here is the bag with all the different accessories and tool. So let's take it out. Right here, we have the hose option. Right here, they probably got the wrench tool. Right here, they do probably got the white tape option for you to seal it, so that way it won't leak any water out. And right here is the adapter option that they put on, so that way the water can go two way, one for flushing and one for the actual biter itself. And at the very bottom, they do probably got instruction manual to teach you guys how to use it and how to set it up. But like I mentioned the way how you guys set it up is very similar to the one that I showed you guys last time, but it does depend on the type of toilet that you guys do have. Some of them might be different than others, but last but not least, we do have the part right here. So let's open up first, all right? So once you guys take it out, and you see the part is very similar. So for this part, when you guys do put it on, you guys want to make sure it fits correctly. And the hole, you guys want to make sure it fits on top correctly when you guys do screw on the screw back. So once you guys got the correct position, you guys can put it back on top, just like that. And then screw it in the hole, just like the one I showed you guys before. Bottom part right here is basically the nozzle option where the water is going to spray out. So when you guys do set the product, it's sprayed this way or the other side. Depending on which mode or function they actually use, but it will open up like this. And then right here is basically what the pot looks like. So right here is the water pressure option, and then right here is the different mode. So there's a the feminine option, rare option, and also the nozzle clean option. And bottom part right here is where you guys will insert the hose when you guys do set the adapter option. Just like how I showed you guys in the previous one as well. And that is basically everything that's on the bottom. So now I'm actually going to install this to show you guys how to actually install it first. And it will show you guys how to use it afterward. And it will come back and talk more about it in a second. So first thing I'm going to do is take out this part right here, just like how I showed you guys in the previous version as well. But before we do that, let's turn off this part right here first. All right. So once that's turned off, you guys don't flush it until all the water is gone. All right. So once all the water is gone, then we're going to take this part out. So once you guys take it out, then you can put it on top. So you basically want to set up like this and then put the screw back on. All right, so once you guys put it on, here is basically what the pot looks like. And then here is this side right here. And we guys do open up. Here is what the inside looks like. So what we're doing now is to put on the adapter on the side. So that way the water can come out this way and not only that way. So you basically want to turn this part right here to take it out. And you do want to get a bucket underneath it so that way the water can leak out in the bottom. It is normal for water to come out when you guys do take it out, just let us know. All right, so once you guys got that out, then you put on the adapter. So basically want to twist on the adapter right here. Make sure it's tight so that way none of the water can leak out. And if you guys want to, you definitely use the white tape to prevent any leakage, but we don't need to use it. So once you guys do that, you guys want to tap this onto the bottom. All right, so once you guys finish that step, then you guys want to attach the hose on here. So I'm just going to put the big side of the hose right here. All right, make sure all of them are tight. Once you guys got that done, you guys want to attach the other side of this hose onto the bite it. So you basically want to attach it right here. And if you guys want to make it tighter, you can definitely use the little tool that they provide for you guys to make it tighter. So once you guys double check all this part right here is all tight and all sealed up, then you can turn back on the water and start using it. All right, so you guys can hear the water is running. And if you guys open up, if you guys want to test it out to see when it actually works, you want to turn this part right here to clean nozzle first. And basically what that will do is spray the water that way instead of this way. So if you guys turn right here. You can see the part definitely does work. If you guys turn it to the feminine or the rear side option, it will spray the opposite direction, which is where you guys want to use it. So currently I just turned it on the rear option. If you guys turn it on, let me show you guys how powerful the water is. So if you notice how the nozzle comes down to actually spray water out, and if you guys turn on the feminine option, so 
same thing basically happens. And we gotta turn it all the way to the other side. That basically helps you guys clean the nozzle. So if you guys can see, when you guys do spray the water on here, it definitely does work and it is super powerful when you guys do use it. And top of all this, you can definitely still use the toilet to flush. But you can see the product definitely does work and it didn't take that long to set it up. Now I come back guys. So that's a quick test of and definitely actually does work and she works quite well. If you see the whole setup process and everything didn't take that long, it just depends on the type of toilet that you do have. Some of them might be easier and some of them might be harder. But once you guys do set it up, you can see it definitely works pretty well. So whether if you guys want to set this up at home, in office or anywhere else, wherever you guys want to set it up, that is totally up to you guys. And I love the fact that how this does have a feminine option. So that way if you guys are a female or if you guys do have like a girlfriend or something, they can definitely use that option. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now that we do the unboxing and test the product, now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want one of these one of these. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.